Travis Wayne Goodsell. I was about to head off to bed and then uh, was going to upload my Word of Wisdom video tomorrow. Uh, but uh, CNN, uh, two hours ago, uh, by Claudia Dominguez, Joe Sutton, and Gene Norman, reported that Florida was just devastated by tornadoes. And so, uh, let me take a note of this because I'll have to make this video tomorrow. And so, again, it's not tornado season. And yet another natural disaster out of season, causing mass devastation. An update for uh, the Tongan volcano. I did find news earlier this morning. I was trying to figure out how to make it into a video. Had other videos that I just didn't get to today as well. Uh, the last I saw, there were two dead from drowning, and the whole island is just destroyed. And so my video on that is even more important about the devastating loss. Because the church still, nothing on it. We can check again right before I go to bed here while I'm doing the video. We can confirm, maybe I'm wrong, maybe the church is true. Uh, nothing on the front page. Click on the newsroom. Oh, there it is. Church is true. <laughs> but are they going to do it on Florida now? See, the church is going to have to keep up on all these. Dear God. It looks like the Bank South Pacific got themselves elevated sufficiently to protect from the flooding. Dear God. Um. <laughs> okay, I get it. Somebody out in the Tongan area because it's dated January 17th, 2022. <laughs> when you go out far enough, uh, you're uh, kicking into the next day. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so, yeah, for them it's not Sunday. And I'm willing to bet you that's why they did it this way. So they can justify that no employee for the church news was working on the Sabbath. <laughs> oh my God. It's like they've forgotten the ox in the mire and the whole purpose behind that. <sighs> An update? Where was the original? <laughs> there was no original. Why is it called an update? Uh, and so, yeah, they're quoting from Elder Ian S. Arden, Pacific Area President. I'd be willing to bet they called him and got through to him on the phone. Or somehow, the internet's down. It would have to have to be through satellite transmission. But uh, we are praying earnestly for our brothers and sisters in Tonga and for their loved ones. Uh, he's the Pacific Area President of the Church, and he doesn't even have to be on Tonga. He can be somewhere else. Uh, but, uh, 
uh, church humanitarian fund for there will be a need of temporal assistance. Oh, gee, they get temporal assistance? Utah doesn't. What's up with that? And so, yeah, it, it comes late because of church, Sabbath. So, that's their update. Dear God. If I were still a believing Mormon because the church never came after me for showing Joseph Smith was a translator, I would be disappointed and blame those people rather than the prophets. Being ignorant that the prophets are the ones that approve what gets posted. And so, yeah, we're going to see a lot more tornadoes and all that stuff. And I've gone over with you why. Third Nephi, we're there, it's now. This year, Third Nephi chapter 1, the new star in Cygnus on March 17th. I uploaded that, that uh, video that the YouTube Mormon employee chose to slow down the processing time. Even though it was an hour and a half, it shouldn't have taken as long as they made it. And sure enough, I got a hate comment from him as he started his job for the day on the Sabbath. You're working on the Sabbath? Oh, aren't you supposed to quit YouTube so that you can have the Sabbath day holy? You're not a very faithful Mormon, are you? <laughs> or are you in a different time zone so that it's no longer the Sabbath? <laughs> but uh, also the day without a, a, a day and a night and a day without a night. That's also this month in May. Right around the time of the eclipse in May. Part of the Tetrad in May. <laughs> Number three of the Tetrad of the lunar eclipses in May. And if you don't know what that means, you've forgotten all about 2014, 2015. And after what happened in the third one, <laughs> the prophets remember. They're hoping you forgot. And so, yes. Then, 3rd Nephi 8. That's when I went over in the, the uh, Tongan video. Is that, that's it. That's the destruction, and it's here. We're in the latter days. The Book of Mormon is not literal history. It's something else. And the Word of Wisdom video tells you how to do proper research. I do proper research. I don't tell you to do something I'm not going to do. So when I do videos, it's done with proper research. Even though I don't have a script, and it's associative memory, I'm just speaking from my heart. <clears throat> but when I do a research video, that's how it's done. And you should be paying attention to what I say, rather than dismissing it because you, it doesn't fit your belief your category box of beliefs nope don't believe that dismiss that I won't explain it no that's not how you do things you have to explain it all that's why I find out about Brigham Young and Heber C. Kimball as much as I loathe them for who they are or were and what they did. I have to know everything about them if I'm going to get the correct history down. And it's it's deplorable. It's sickening what they did. But I have to know the truth. I cannot dismiss it. And so, yes, the, my audience who are virtuous and pure-hearted I'll take the... <laughs> right? You're virtuous and pure-hearted. Okay. 
So yeah, this is it guys. We're not in tornado season. Tornadoes are occurring. Volcanic eruptions. Destroying lots of people. Their lives are ruined. Because the humanitarian services, that's going to be a lot. they got to rebuild homes. they got to provide food, clothing, communications. they got to get back, back up and running. Transportation. It's a lot more than just giving them a fish for every day until they pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. They didn't mention anything about the temple, I noticed. That's curious. Alrighty. Um, but I guess, yeah, it was interviewing the area president, so they didn't have much as what's going on. They just said the church is ready to respond. But, uh... grew up thinking that I was in the true church. I grew up believing that the prophets actually cared, were knowledgeable, and would do everything to make sure that I'm protected. And I've learned the truth. They don't give a damn. They're in it for the money. More to come. I hope you guys are safe.